Hello folks. So today I thought I'd do something different. Um, you know, over the years I get a lot of compliments from people who say, uh, Chuck, you know, your pictures are as good as the Hubble Space Telescope. And I know most of the time they're just being kind, or the people who aren't in this hobby, um, they just don't know how good the Hubble Space Telescope really is. So I thought I'd make a, a video to compare my pillars of creation to NASA's image of the pillars of creation and um, we'll see how I how I stack up and I'll also do a cost comparison um, how much I spent on my rig and how much NASA spent on their telescope that'll be interesting and uh, one more thing is I want to give a shout out to Galactic Hunter I saw their their video recently how their goal for 2020 is to get a NASA APOD, and the NASA APOD is the NASA Astronomy Picture of the Day. So good luck to them. I know the competition is pretty fierce these days because the level of everybody seems to be going up. And I'm amazed at the pictures I see. And in fact, there's some pictures where I just think, I could never do that. It's astonishing what I see. Um, but I, when I was watching the video, um, I, I, I had to laugh because it's, it's always funny when you unexpectedly see yourself in the video. Some of our favorite YouTubers have already gotten a pod. And it's about time that we join the party. Chuck, he got a pod twice. Did he say twice? No, 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 no. That's three times, buddy. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the, the picture I'm going to be comparing to the Hubble Space Telescope. And this was captured in process in 2018. It's one of my favorite pictures. The only problem is I used a reducer to capture it so I could get this wide field area on it. So, but the area I'm going to be comparing to Hubble is deep in the center, the pillars of creation. And looking at it now, I could have sharpened it a little bit better, but it just back then wasn't something I really worried about because when you're seeing it um, wide field like this and when it's printed and hanging on the wall like it is up there, you don't, you can't really notice it. And I didn't worry too much about it, but in hindsight, yeah, it would have been better had I sharpened it for this comparison, but it is what it is. So let me show you the equipment that went into capturing this now. Okay, so this is the rig I used to capture that picture with. And um, uh, right off the bat, I'm going to start off with uh, the Explorer Scientific ED-127 scope. And what surprised me about this scope recently is that I can't find it anymore. I think I paid around $1,599 for it. And I thought I recently saw it for $13.99. Maybe that was a, a closeout sale. Because uh, I wonder if it's discontinued. Because I looked on OPT's website. Um, and uh, I couldn't find it there. I looked on High Point Scientific's website. Those are the two places I usually shop from. Um, uh, I trust those sites. If, if I can't find it on one site, uh, I can usually find something on the other. But I couldn't find it on either website. And I'm wondering... Um, if this model has been replaced with a, um, another telescope from them for $1,899, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the one for $1,899 has better glass. And if that's the case, uh, maybe it's time I, I need to upgrade. So I'm going to look more into that because I'm really interested now. So that's the telescope I'm using. And next is the camera, is the ZWO ASI 1600 cool camera it's a mono camera and that um goes for 1280 bucks if i remember right that's probably what i paid too i don't think the price has changed in all this time i could be mistaken though and then um the next thing uh, is the mount i'm using the cgx mount celestron cgx mount and i think that goes for 2299 dollars. but i thought i paid 21.99 so maybe maybe the price has gone up a little bit i'm not sure about that but these are the th those are the big ticket items that's where you're going to spend most of your money but the thing is um, I didn't spend all this money at once, and I didn't start off with big equipment. You don't have to either. Um, my first refractor was actually uh, a much smaller wide field scope, the Orion ED80TCF, 
and uh, less expensive, and it and it did a really good job for me. I was using it up until recently, as a matter of fact, as a second rig. And the first mount I had, um, what well, wasn't the I had a, an AVX before this, which is less than half the cost. So, like I said, I, I just upgrade over time. But you, for new people getting into this hobby, um, what I'm using now is maybe not the best example. You can definitely start off with good equipment for for less money. And next is uh, the astronomic narrowband filters. Um, these, I think, will still run me about uh, 200 bucks each. And next is, uh, this looks like to be a five position filter wheel that goes for about 199 bucks. Uh, I think I, later I switched to um, an eight position filter wheel, which goes for 299. Uh, then I've got the focal reducer. That's what gives me my wide field image. Um, but for this, it probably would have been better off with a flattener instead of a reducer so I could be more zoomed in. What else here? Oh, then I've got my Moonlight Focuser. You don't have to have an electronic focuser, but I, I like automation. That'll probably run you about 700 bucks for that. <laughs> it's a luxury item. And uh, this surprised me too. I thought I heard a long time ago that this is the, my guide scope is the Orion... ST80, but I, I can't find that either. I wonder if they discontinued that and replaced it with the CT80. Hmm, I'm not sure. What else here? Oh, I've got a couple of extension tubes. That's nothing. Uh, very inexpensive. And then I'm using the Starlight Express uh, Low Star X2 guide camera, which is rather expensive for a guide camera. I have another rig where I'm using a less expensive planetary camera, the ASI 224MC by ZWO, and it works great as a guide camera. So uh, for my purposes, I don't think I would buy another X X2 if I had to build another rig. I'd go for something less expensive. Uh, dovetail plate, I'm using a 14-inch uh, uh, bar here to, to mount the telescope on. You can barely see it there. That'd probably run you 80 bucks. Uh, and then another mounting bar, a, a smaller 12 inch bar. Um, you can barely see it that my guide scope is sitting on. Um, ADM rings here. I don't know how much that is. It's not that expensive. Um, counterweights right there. Because the front of my telescope is so heavy, I pushed my guide scope back. I added counterweights on the rear under here to to just offset that weight in the front. It finally worked, but people can't believe I had to do that. Um, and then I've got some dew heater strips there, and I added one later to the guide scope and a dew heater control box right there that controls the, the how much heat you want to provide these strips here. And what's not listed here is um, I've also got a a pole master for polar alignment right there. So um, a setup like this will probably run you around $7,000 or more. It's, it's a lot of money, um, but it's not something you have to spend right off the bat. You can take great pictures with a much, much, uh, um, with a lot less money. So don't follow my example. You don't have to, all right? So uh, let's move on to the next thing here. So here is the Hubble Space Telescope my competition. And I looked at um, Google's website to see how much NASA has spent on their telescope so far. Actually, it's all of our telescope. It comes out of taxpayer money, I think. And uh, it said through the year 2010, they had spent up to $10 billion on this rig so far. Um, I don't know um, about the last 10 years what's happened. So, um, Let's see, 10 billion divided by say 7,000 for me, 1,428,000 times more than me. Let's save that number. All right, so here it is in all its glory. One of the most famous pictures the Hubble Space Telescope has ever produced the pillars of creation. It's fantastic, and I could stare at this thing for an hour. But um, that's it. All right, now let's do the the head-to-head -head comparison. 
Okay, so which one is mine and which one is theirs? Well, you can see um, um, sharpening would have helped my picture some, but it, it doesn't really matter, does it? When you look at the one on the right. <laughs> now, if you look at the how much more money NASA has spent, is their picture 1,428,000 times better than my picture? No, I'm kidding. That's a silly way to look at it. But um, what astonishes me is that I can even capture something like this from my backyard. I never stop being amazed at what's possible. And so who, who's the real winner here? I would say everybody wins because the universe is freaking awesome. And I will see you guys later. Hello, folks. So I thought I'd try something different that, uh, now. I don't know what to do. I'm rambling. It's probably the most famous Hubble Space Telescope object I've um, ever taken, so... I don't know. I don't know. And I took this opportunity to... Te 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 fuck! <laughs> I'm daydreaming!